Hi, I'm Pat Summerall, and you may recognize me from my NFL broadcast on television. I've been covering professional sports for a lot of years now, and I'm still active today, thanks to the revolutionary world of vision correction. You know, in my job, I had to be able to see the players on the field. I also had stats in front of me at all times, so every angle of vision was important to me. Now, with the crystal lens procedure, I see just as well as I did when I was younger. I'd like to share that with you today and encourage you to ask questions and explore the possibilities of sight with the crystal lens. You'll be happy you did. So let's now take a look at this new technology and see how it works. Thanks, Pat. Hi, I'm Jill, and I'm glad you're taking the time to learn more about your vision. During the next several minutes, we will be discussing how the eye works, how it changes over time, as well as some of the options your doctor may use to help you see more clearly again. Whether we are seeing the smiling face of a loved one or a favorite television show, our eyes are a window to the world around us. Near or far, the young eye can focus on just about any object. But what happens inside the eye to make this possible? As early as the 1930s, it has been theorized that the eye's natural lens flexes and arches. The purpose of this portion of the video is to illustrate the accommodative flexing and arching which take place in both the natural crystalline lens as well as the crystal lens accommodative intraocular lens. As the focus changes from distant to near objects, the ciliary muscles contract, the ciliary fibers slacken, and the natural crystalline lens becomes more rounded to provide near vision. This process is known as accommodation. As we get older, however, our natural lens begins to enlarge and harden, resulting in the gradual loss of accommodation. This is followed by the eventual formation of a cataract, where your natural lens becomes cloudy, preventing a clear image from forming on the retina. Today, cataract surgery is one of the safest and most common surgeries with nearly 3 million procedures performed in the United States each year. After the doctor removes your cataract, it is replaced with an artificial lens called an IOL. It is important for you to understand that you now have a choice to make regarding the type of lens you'll receive. Standard monofocal IOLs have been widely used for the last three decades and generally provide excellent distance vision, but because they do not move or change shape inside the eye, patients receiving these standard IOLs will likely require some type of spectacle correction for their near and intermediate visual needs. You may choose to replace your lens with the crystal lens accommodating IOL. Like the natural lens of a younger person, the crystal lens provides a full range of focus from distant to near objects by moving back and forth along the visual axis, as well as arching or flexing centrally to increase the eye's focusing power. Approved by the FDA in November of 2003, the crystal lens is an exciting technology that your doctor can use to help bridge the generation gap and allow you to enjoy the kind of intermediate and near vision you experienced in your middle adulthood. I trust you have found this video to be helpful and informative and would like to invite you to check out the Crystal Lens website at www.crystallens.com. Should you require further information to better understand the options available to you, please consult with your doctor who is qualified to determine if the crystal lens is right for you.